Is it just me or does there seem to be some kind of an ABDL diaper in stock issue out there? You know, I go, I go to the normal sites, you know, Tyke Bowls, ABU and so forth, and they always seem to be out of stock, at least in my size, at least. Now, I'm not going to call anyone out, but uh, I think we have some hoarders out there. So for you hoarders out there, just, just know that if you find a sh shrinkage in your, in your diaper stash, don't come looking at my house. I think I'm pretty good at hiding that shit. And I know these two companies, you know, ABU and Tykables, have new styles and diapers and stuff. Some of the uh, old diapers they're bringing back with new styles and so forth. And from what I've seen, they seem to be okay. They seem to be pretty good. But that doesn't seem to help in the short term. Yes, there are other places to buy diapers. But ABU and Tykables gives you a discount when you order half a case or a case. So it's kind of beneficial to order from them. Anyhow, I guess, I guess it's just me bitching. Just, just ignore it. It's just me bitching about something. So I guess Pride Month is upon us. People will be going to parades and Pride events, and people are going to be coming out throughout the month of June, and it's a really exciting time. You know, you're going to have these people coming out all over the internet. They're going to have their coming out stories and so forth. Along with that, you're also going to have all the haters are going to be out in full force. In fact, they've already started. So today I want to talk about the gay agenda. Yes, it would appear that the LGBTQ plus king fetish lifestyle outside the norm has a secret agenda. I guess we are attempting to take down the Christians and take down America at the same time. In one fell swoop, we're going to do it. So do you see the power we yield? Yeah, we've got the power. And it would appear that the LGBTQ plus community, kinks, fetishes, lifestyles outside the norm, cease to exist <laughs> when they hit the United States border. It seems anybody who doesn't talk like them, act like them, have the same morals and values of them, seem to have an agenda. Or everybody seems to have an agenda for some reason. And yes, yes, we have an agenda. We want to be treated like human beings. Oh my God, what the hell is wrong with us? And, and let me just say real quick, before we go any further, when I say uh, lifestyles outside the norm, that means, you know, we're in a lifestyle that's not, you know, a lifestyle, you know, like makeup or clothing or fashion or hiking or travel or anything like that. So I, that's why I say outside the norm. I'm beginning to think more and more every day that ABDL and DL aren't in fact a life choice. I'm beginning to think it's just something of who you are. I don't think any kink or fetish is really a life choice. I mean, I was born the way that I am. Diapers have always been a thing for me. I, in fact, I don't remember a time when I made a self conscious decision to be ABDL. You know, I've just always had this thing to let my inner child out for some fresh air from time to time. But, but I've thought about this many, many times. When did I in fact decide that the ABDL DL lifestyle was the lifestyle for me? When did I actually come up with it and decide that that's what I wanted? When did I decide that on top of all the shit that came with being gay, you know, the fear of being disowned by family, getting my butt kicked uh, at school for no apparent reason other than just being gay, uh, walking out of a club and getting beat down or even worse for just being gay. When did I decide to say, you know what, I think I'm going to pile something else on there too for so people will hate me even more so. I mean, when did you decide that ABDL or DL was a lifestyle that you wanted to pursue. If you're into any kink fetish, when did you make that decision that it was a life for you? When, when was it? You know, I've spoken to a lot of people in the ABDL community, in the DL community, kink and fetish communities, um, LGBTQ plus communities, and I asked them all, when did you make the decision that this was the life for you. And so far, I've got a goose egg. Nobody has been able to give me an exact date. Well, not an exact date, but a, you know, an age when they decided that it was for them. I mean, yeah, we all have that, that 
time when we're like, oh yeah, I want to try diapers and stuff. You know, we all get that. But when did you psychologically decide that you like diapers? You know, I, I think it was at birth. I think when I was born, it was just who I am. It's, it's who I was born as. You know, and if you listen to the, to the uh, right-wing Christian fly-by-night people, I'm basically been been damned to hell from the time I was I drew my first breath. I mean, talk about a, a mind screw job. You know, you get you're you're born and you're immediately damned to hell for it. I mean, come on, what what chance did I have? <laughs> Honestly, what chance did I have? So here's what I want. Since being gay or being in a kink or fetish is a life choice, what I want is I want all these fly by nighters to go ahead and become gay for a, uh, a year or so, you know, just to see how it fits, and then switch back to being heterosexual so that they can show us, you know, how easy it is to make that life choice. That way they can give us proof, solid proof that being gay is a lifestyle choice. So they need to go ahead and, and switch to being gay for a little while. Now let's move on to the we are turning schools into recruiting stations. Yes, yes, we have we have booths set up in all the schools around the country because remember, it's only in the United States because, you know, this stuff ceases to exist outside of the U.S. borders. But we have booths set up in all the schools called uh, recruiting stations, if you will. This way the, the kids can come to us to sign up to be, to be, you know, gay or transgender or lesbian or whatever and stuff that way they can come to us we don't have to go to them but you know we do have those that are really hard to get so for them we send people out into the field the school playground if you will and they hand out pamphlets they hand out pamphlets so that um, we can introduce the children to uh, to the lifestyle seriously do these people lay in bed at night thinking of what other kind of bullshit they can think of to to pollute the world with there is no agenda there's no gay agenda there's no lgbtq plus agenda there's no kink agenda there's no fetish agenda there's no abdl agenda we're not looking out to recruit children and if someone thinks <laughs> we actually have that much power to get to make a child change their sexuality or change their gender for that fact then these people <laughs> need to seek some help or maybe take one of those master classes that everybody's pushing out these days on on the human psyche and i don't know they just need to do something i find it both funny and interesting how they claim that we are going after children and we're going after the kids yet yet we hear every day about non-lgbtq plus non-kink, non-fetish, non-ABDL, non-DL, non-lifestyles outside the norm, getting caught every single day being inappropriate with children. Yes, we do have our problem childs, but at least we're willing to accept that we do have some bad apples in our, in our communities. I mean, I don't want to go there, but do we really need to mention the men of God? Do we really need to mention them? And I just love the way when one of them gets caught doing something inappropriate, their community immediately just kind of pushes them over into our, our community. Let us deal with it. It's your damn problem. You deal with your own bullshit. Anyhow, enjoy Pride Month. If you're proud to be who you are, then Pride Month is for you. Unless, of course, you're in Tucson and then you have to wait till October to celebrate your pride. They call it out Outtober Fest, and I somebody said that it was because of the temperature. I mean, come on, anybody that's been in Tucson long enough knows our brains are already fried. I mean, our our brains have been toasted already, so it's not really gonna matter. So let me know when when you decided that you were part of the LGBTQ plus community. Let me know when when exactly when you decided that, that was something that you really wanted to be involved in. So like. Subscribe, comment if you must, and until the next video, be blessed.